Hi everyone! Today in this video I'm gonna teach you the functions and the inverse function and compose function. So please keep watching the video and don't forget to subscribe. Hi everyone! Today let's learn about elementary functions. First of all I want to give some vocabulary to make it easy to understand. So functions is a correspondence from a first set called the main to a second set called range. And each element in the main corresponds to exact one element in the range. The main is the set of the value of x by which the function is defined, and range is the set of the corresponding value of y. First, let's determine whether an equation represents a function. So, for example, we have x squared plus 4. I mean, x squared plus y equal to 4. So to change the equation to function, we're going to have to have y equal to 4. And then we take the minus, uh, we take x squared to the other side. So we change the sign. So minus x squared. So now we have the function. And let's say another example, x squared plus y squared equal to 4. So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to write y squared equal to 4. And then we take the x to the other side. So we change the sign to minus x squared y to plus or minus square root of 4 minus x squared. So now we have the function. So let's see how we evaluate a number in a function. So for example, we have the function fx plus 2 so we need to evaluate 2 in this function exchange x with 2 so we write f f2 equal to 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 equal 5 multiplied by 2 equal to 10 plus 2 equal to 12 so f2 equal to 12 so in general when we ask to evaluate a number in a function we just replace the x with the number in functions we can add subtract multiply or divide it so to get the to get the sum of two functions, we add the, fu the first function plus the second function. And to have the subtraction of two functions, we subtract the first one from the second one. Multiplication of two functions. So we multiply the first function by uh, with the second function. And to get two functions, so we divide the first function by the second function. Now let's move to example to make it more easy to understand. So let's start with f plus g. So we have f plus g x equal to fx plus gx. And now we're gonna replace each function with its uh, expression, so 2x uh, fx equal to 2x squared minus 1 plus gx, it's 5x plus 3 equal to 2x squared plus 5x and minus 1 plus 3 equal to plus 2. So now let's find f minus g x so that's equal to f x minus g x and we're gonna replace each one so f x equal to 2 x square minus 1 minus g x equal to 5 x plus 3 so equal to 2 x square minus 1 minus 5x minus 3 
equal to 2x square minus 5x and minus 1 minus 3 equal to minus 4. Let's move to f multiply by g x so f x f multiply x f multiply g x equal to, to f x multiply by g x so we're going to do the same thing we're going to replace each one so we have 2 x square minus 1 multiply by 5 x plus 3 that uh, 2 x square multiplied by 5 x equal to 10 x cube 2 x square multiplied by 3 it's equal to plus 6 x square minus 1 multiplied by 5 x equal minus 5 x and minus 1 multiplied by 3 equal to minus 3 so now we find uh, f multiplied by j let's move on to f divide by j x so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna replace fx multiplied by jx equal to 2x square minus 1 over 5x plus 3 so now we find the f multiplied by gx and now let's move to the compose functions it might seem difficult but it's very easy to understand the compose function is that we replace x in the function f with the function gx i'm gonna go over some example to explain that let's see this first example so we have a given function fx equal 3x and gx equal to 4x plus 4 uh, plus 2 so let's find the compose function fjx first so we have f compose j x equal to f and we replace the x with gx so first we have fx is equal to 3x so we write 3 and then we replace the x with gx so equal to 4x plus 2 3 multiplied by 4x equal to 12x plus 3 multiplied by 2 equal to 6 so this is the compose function fx now let's see the compose function g f x so that's equal to g x g and then we replace the x with f x So that's equal to we have the jx function is 4x plus 2 so we write 4 plus 2 and then we replace the x with uh, with fx so we have 3x so that's equal to 12x plus 2 so now we find the compose jx and fx Another example is to find the two exposed function. So we have fx equal to x squared minus 3 and gx equal to 3x plus 1. And remember uh, exposed function fjx equal to fjx function. So first step, we gonna replace x with the value two, and the the and the function g. So we have g x equal to three x. So
So G2 equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1 equal to 6 plus 1 equal to 7. Fx equal to x squared minus 3. So now we're going to take 7 and replace it in the x in the f control uh, in the f uh, function. So f7 equal to 7 square minus 3 and that's equal to 49 minus 3 equal to 46. Propose a function f g 2 equal to 46. So, so the inverse function is to interchange x and y and then solve for y. And here I wrote some step to make it easy for you to find the inverse functions. So first step is to replace fx with y. And the second step is to interchange x and y. And third step is to solve for y. And the last step is to replace y with the uh, inverse function of x. Move to example to find the inverse function. So we have fx equal to 3x plus 2. So first step is to replace fx with y. So we write y equal to 3x plus 2. And then we move to the second step is to interchange x and y. So we write x equal to 3y plus 2. And now we're going to solve for y. So to solve for y, we're going to subtract is 2 in both sides. So we write x minus 2 equal to 2, 3y. And now to solve for y, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So x minus 2 divided by 3 equal to y. Now we're going to replace the y with the inverse function. So we write f inverse x equal to x minus 2 over 3. Another example, we have fx equal to x squared minus 3. So we do the first step. So we replace fx with y, y equal to x squared minus 3. And then we interchange x with y, we write x equal to y squared minus 3. And then we solve for y. To solve for y, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So we write 3 plus x equal to y square. And then to solve for y, we're going to square root to the other side. So square root of 3 plus x equal y. So now we find the inverse function of fx. That's all for today. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comment below. And also for my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, function graphing. So see you in my next video.